Hey everybody, it's Jason Wood from 11 O'Clock Comics, and we are back with another round of comics on shelves, this time for the week of Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. Up first, we have the powerhouse duo of Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino, bringing us the final issue of Bone Orchard, 10,000 Black Feathers. This was a five-issue limited series and the first limited series, but not the first story in the Bone Orchard mythos. That was The Passageway, also by the same creative team. In this miniseries, we were introduced to the universe of the Bone Orchard in far more depth, and it was told through the story of two friends who were avid gamers and get pulled into this universe as a result of that. Very much looking forward to this conclusion and more Bone Orchard stories in the future. We're going to stick with Image Comics for The Black Cloak, number one, written by Kelly Thompson with art by Meredith McLaren. This is the debut issue of Kelly Thompson's first creator-owned book in quite some time after doing absolutely terrific work, mainly at Marvel for the last bunch of years. This is a story that is a classic mashup of genres. You've got sci-fi, high fantasy, and noir detective all rolled into one. Effectively, it is a murder mystery involving two detectives known as the Black Cloaks. Let's head over to DC for Danger Street number 2 of 12. Chances are, when you hear of a 12-issue maxi series published by DC, you can guess that the writer is none other than Tom King. Tom is joined by his frequent partner, artist Jorge Fornes, as they continue to take us into a world full of DC C-listers including such illuminaries as Starman and Lady Cop. We'll finish up this week with two picks from Marvel Comics. Up first is X-Men number 18, written by Jerry Duggan, with art by C.F. Villa, who returns after a few issues from Joshua Kassara, and colors by Matt Miller. I'm very excited to read this issue, as it is going to be Laura Kinney, a.k.a. Wolverine, meeting Laura Kinney, a.k.a. Wolverine, There's an old Laura who was trapped in the vault for hundreds of years and thought dead, and the resurrected Laura who is the character resurrected before she ever went to the vault. I cannot wait to see them interact and figure out what they're going to do about having two of the same mutants on Krakoa. And last but certainly not least, we have the Avengers War Across Time number one, Written by Paul Levitz. Yes, the big deal here is that Paul Levitz, who spent decades as one of DC Comics' most important creative minds, has finally hopped over to Marvel to write his first ever Marvel superhero comic. And who better to pair him with than one of the greatest living superhero artists in the world, Mr. Alan Davis. And let's at least throw some love to colorist Rochelle Rosenberg, who is the final piece of the artistic puzzle. I am expecting this to be classic, nostalgic Avengers storytelling. I don't think they're going to break a ton of new ground, but that's not what this is about. This is about celebrating some of the greatest to ever do it, telling a story, bringing us back to the times when we first fell in love with superhero comics. And that wraps up this week in Comics on Shelves. I hope that you are as excited as I am to head over to your store and pick up these issues and many others. As always, thanks for watching, and please remember to hit that like button and share this with your fellow comic friends. Also, please be sure to download and listen to our podcast, 11 O'Clock Comics, available on Apple, Spotify, and just about anywhere else you'd like it to be. And if you haven't gotten enough of us yet, check us out at 11oClockComics.com or Patreon.com slash 11 O'Clock Comics. We'll see you next week.